Wei? Good morning, Colonel Ping. Good morning, Commander Bond. To what do I owe the pleasure of this phone call? I'd like to know why a top Chinese agent was trying to contact a courier in Istanbul. Perhaps it's the same reason a British agent was following him. Are you suggesting an alliance? You'll find me at the aquarium in Bangkok tomorrow night. Come alone. It's the only way I can guarantee your safety. Funny. I was just going to issue the same warning to you. Bond here. Good evening, Mr. Bond. Where are you, Ping? We'll meet soon enough, but first, I need you to perform a small task in order to ensure our security. And what might that be? It's come to my attention there is recording equipment hidden in the aquarium. And we can't take the chance of anyone listening in on us. Let me know after you found them and disabled them. Done. We're clear. Good. Meet me on the ground floor by the whale tank. The aquarium is now closed. Thank you for visiting, and come again soon. Ping? Is that you? Tell me, Commander Bond, how much do you know about whales? Not much. Enough to know they shouldn't be kept in aquariums. Apart from that, I wouldn't like to end up in one. Then maybe you can understand what it's like to live inside the world's biggest country. There are 1.3 billion people living in China today, Mr. Bond. 1.3 billion Chinese who need to be fed and housed and clothed every day, every week, year in, year out. I am aware of the numbers. But perhaps not the implications. Go on. 
It's not that we're not as smart or as technologically savvy as the West. We invented gunpowder and currency while you were still living in caves. But in every society, there are those who would cheat, those who would steal to gain any advantage. The researcher, the industrial espionage. Someone in China was behind this. One of your people kidnapped and killed him. No, something worse. An economic mercenary. Someone who would steal the most dangerous technological secrets and sell them to the highest bidder. Not out of ideology or politics, but for money and power to turn us against each other. But who? Where? How do we find him and stop him? My team was in Geneva, following up on a link to this man. Do you recognize him? No. His name is Rak. He was born in northern Mongolia, on the contested border between Russia and China, and has no love for either. He keeps his money and his mistress in Switzerland. But he operates out of Bangkok. If it's illegal, he's got a piece of it. At first, we thought he was a middleman in all this. 